Hello guys, my name is Richmond and I welcome you to the Rich Tech channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be writing an algorithm to solve a particular problem. Basically, a studio code for a particular problem. And if you're a new viewer, I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel to get more educative content from this channel. Without wasting much time, we'll move into today's tutorial. Okay guys, so... um. To make this tutorial as short as possible, I've already written the studio code for the whole question. And also I have the question on the right side of my screen. Okay, so before we move into the studio code or what we have in the studio code, I would like us to read the question and understand it first. Okay, so the question says that employees of JB and Sans Consultants limited are paid on an hourly basis at the end of every week okay if an employee works for not more than 40 hours so that means um from zero to you know 40 okay not more than 40 hours a week it is considered regular and overtime for hours worked in excess of 40 so if you work in excess of 40 those number of hours are considered as overtime hours so take note of that regular hours are being paid 500 cds and 550 cds per hour for males and females respectively take note of the males and females respectively and then the 500 cds and 550 cds okay so if you are a male and if you work within the regular hours you are being paid 500 cds per hour Okay, and if you're a female, you are being paid 550 cities um, per hour. Oh, small world. Girls are favored. Hmm. Let's continue. Okay, so um, the next thing is saying, while the overtime rate is one half. Okay, let's take note of that. One half times the regular rate. Okay, so if you work in the overtime or if you work in excess... Um, your work in excess of the 40 hours you are being paid one half of your regular amount so if you are a female you are being paid one half the you know the 550 you are being paid um in regular hours okay so if you are a male too you are being paid um one half of the 500 you are being paid for the regular so let's take note of that too so all employees are to pay 15% of their gross pay as income task, 2.5% as national health um, contribution levy, 1% as district task. So at the end of the day, you are going to subtract all these tasks from the gross pay calculated from the number of hours and the type of gender. Okay, so let's take note of that as well. And then employees who have more than three children are to pay 10 and 20 cities per child in excess of three towards the educational fund for males and females respectively okay so if you're male you are going to pay 10 cities um per child in excess of three okay so for instance if you have um five children the three are going to be free but then you are going to pay 10 cities for each of the two children in excess of the three okay and if you're a female you are going to pay 20 cities oh so this is where the females you know <laughs> find themselves wanting okay so let's continue so with the main um question devise a computer solution that can be used to calculate the net pay of the employees okay so our algorithm here which we have on the left side of the screen should be able to calculate the you know net pay provided the user inputs the required information the algorithm needs okay so let's move on now to the pseudo code the first thing you need to do when you are writing an algorithm is to declare your variables okay so um <coughs> we declared some variables over here and also assign them to some you know data types so we could see on the first line we declared gross pay, income tax, health tax, district tax, edu fund, net pay as a double. Okay, so we declared all those variables as a double. And when we come to the next line, 
we declare the gender as a character you can declare it as a string if you want to depending on the kind of data you want the user to input for the gender but for me i wanted the user to input just a single character um, to be stored in the gender variable so i declare that as a character the next variable i declared was the hours and then the children okay so those ones i assign them to an integer okay or i declare them as an integer because you can't have one point um let's say three number of children that's that's invalid okay and for the hours to it should be in whole okay so that is why i made it an integer data type okay so right from declaring your variables the next thing you should be thinking about is initializing them okay so initializing your variables so we initialize all the variables we declared as um double 0, 0.0 okay so that is it the next thing we did was to you know interact with the user now we said in one of our previous tutorials when discussing about algorithms that our algorithm should be able to um you know interact with the user that means it should have input and output capabilities okay so the first output we are going to display is um enter your gender and we were specific here okay m or f so the user is restricted to enter either male in a form of m or female in a form of f okay so you can't enter female or you can't enter male in a string form okay so after that we prepare the algorithm or the pseudo code to receive the input for the gender and store it in the gender variable so we um, typed in here input gender okay and the next thing again was to output enter number of hours work so that the user will know that kind of data he or she is entering so from there we again prepare the algorithm or program to receive a data for the hour you know for the hours sorry it's supposed to be hours here okay so the next thing was to output you know number of children so the user is also going to input the number of children is going to be stored in the number of children variable okay so from there you know algorithms are logical sequence of instructions or step-by-step -step instructions okay and you know at certain points your algorithm needs to make decisions based on data received okay so here in as in the question if the number of hours is 40 and the you know gender is female then gross pay is going to be 550 times the number of hours i hope this is you know simple mathematics i hope you understand it okay and if your hours is still less than or equal to 40 but then you are not a female and you are a male then it moves to the else here which is the gross pay is going to be equated to 500 times the number of hours okay so if you're a female you are going to be paid 550 that's the difference per hour and then if you're a male you are going to be paid 500 per hour okay so <clears throat> if the number of hours is not less than or equal to 40 but then it's greater than obviously it's going to be greater than if it's not less than or equal to 40 okay so that will move you into the else here okay and in that same else you are going to check again if the gender is um female okay so if it's a female then the gross space going to be equal to the 550 times the 40 which is going to be for the regular and the excess is going to be you know the number of hours worked minus 40 that's going to give us the excess times the rate okay so the rate is 1.5 times the um you know amount you are being paid for the regular okay so if you are a female it's going to be 1.5 times 550 okay but then if you are not a female then the gross pay is going to be 500 times 
40. So we should take note over here. Here is 500 times 40, not 550. Okay. And then the rate 2 is 1.5 times 500, not 550. Okay. So that's the advantage the ladies have over the, you know, gentlemen. Hmm. Let's move on. So after that, we end our if and we end our if. Okay. So at the end of this whole, you know, code, by then the gross pay um, would have been calculated. Okay. So we have our gross pay calculated from these, you know, few lines of code. So after getting our gross pay, what is the next thing we are going to do? You know, the instructions or the question said 15% should um, of the gross pay should be income task, you know, 2.5 national health um, contribution levy, 1 point, okay, 1% 1 should be um, district task. Okay, so you are going to subtract all those things from the gross pay. Before you would be able to subtract, you have to get the values first. Okay, so the income task is going to be 0 0.15, which is 15%, okay, times the gross pay, as we said earlier. Okay, and the health, you know, insurance contribution levy over here is also going to be 0 0.025, which is 2.5% of the gross pay, and the district um, task is also going to be 0.01% um, of the um, gross pay. Okay, so let's um, take note of that. So now we have our income task, national health contribution levy, and then district um, task um, calculated. The next thing we are going to do is to find out if the, you know, the employee has more than three children, and this is um, this is the instructions for that. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is to check if the number of children entered by the user. Now, mind you, the user already entered the number of children here. So, we have a value for that. Okay, so you don't need to ask the user to enter any value again. So, number of children, if the children is, you know, greater than or equal to 3, then we can move inside and check if the user is a female i mean the employee if the employee is a female then the edu fund okay is going to be 10 times um okay so the edu fund is supposed to be 20 for females okay so 20 times the number of children minus three as said over here so employees who have you know more than three children employees who have more than three children are to pay 10 and 20 cities per child in excess of three towards the educational um, fund for all uh, males and females respectively okay so males and females respectively so that means that 10 is for the males and then the 20 cities is for the females okay so that is why we have here edu fund equals 20 times the excess children okay if it's a female so if gender equals female okay and then we have the we have the edu fund equal to 10 times the excess children which is the children minus three over here for the you know the males okay so here is supposed to be else okay, else. okay. So, if children is greater than 3, then if gender equals female, then edufan equals um, 20 times the excess number of children. Else, which is obviously going to be a male, um, edufan is going to be equal to the number of children uh, minus 3 times the rate, which is 10. Okay? But then, if... Um, the children are, you know, less than, you know, the three, okay, the edu fund is going to be zero in this case, okay, so let's take note of that. So from here, we have all the things we need in order to 
calculate for our net pay okay so our net pay is going to be the gross pay minus you know the sum of all the things we need to subtract from it okay which is the income tax health tax district tax then the edu fund okay so we, we get a value for the net pay and then we output on the screen your net pay is um, net pay so it's going to print what we have in the net pay out yeah so basically this is the pseudo code for the um question we have right here thank you for watching this video if you had benefits i will encourage you to you know leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you get more educative content from um, this rich tech world channel thank you and have a nice day